of the city has changed dramatically, tragically, and perhaps irreversibly. There's now over 25 feet of water where there was once city streets and thriving neighborhoods. I hate the way they portray us in the media. If you see a black family, it says they're looting. If you see a white family, it says they're looking for food. And you know it's been five days because most of the people are black. And even for me to complain about, I would be a hypocrite because I've tried to turn away from the teacher TV because it's too hard to watch. I've even been shopping before even giving a donation. So now I'm calling my business manager right now to see what's, what is the biggest amount I can give. And, and just to imagine if I was, if I was down there and those are, those are my people down there. So anybody out there that wants to do anything that we can help with, with the setup, the way America is set up to help the, um, uh, the poor, the, the black people, the, uh, the less well off as slow as possible. I mean, this is Red Cross is doing everything they can. We, we already realize a lot of the people that could help are at war right now fighting another way. And they, they, they've given them permission to go down and shoot us. And subtle, but in even many ways more profoundly devastating, is the lasting damage to the survivors' will to rebuild and remain in the area. The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please call. In the past few days,